Hi. Good morning, everyone. My name is John from uh, Charlestown, 27 years old. And, um, you know, felt God in my life, you know, pretty much. Um, you know, ungrateful, selfish, vicious junkie. You know, I hate to say it like that, but that's just, just how it is. Um, you know, Ezekiel 36, 25 to 27 says, I will sprinkle clean water on you, you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your inequities and all your false idols. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit. I will move from your heart of stone and your heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees. And be careful to keep my laws. And I'll, you know, pretty much to sum it up, that's what God has done for me through Teen Challenge in the almost 14 months I've been in the program. Um, he did for me what, what nothing on this world could do. No detox, no program, no right. medication, no psychiatrists. He filled that gaping hole in my soul. That relationship with women couldn't do drugs, money, you know, clothes, whatever it was at that time. He filled it. You know, I gave my, my heart to Jesus. Um, you know, a little more than a year ago in a small church in Everett, and uh, he's been extremely faithful ever since. Uh, you know, I, I was a heroin addict. I went to 48 detoxes, 20 plus. You know, therapeutic communities up and down the East Coast. You know, just just trying to find. A solution, you know, like, like, what, like what Greg was saying, like a, a, a solution to my internal problem. You know, AA was found off by of Christian principles, and the big book says there's going to come a time in, in uh, your life when nothing on this world is going to keep you clean. And they're talking about God, you know, and um, like the pastor was saying, you know, that this country strayed away from you know, what we're founded on, and, uh, you know, it, it hurts sometimes to think about it, but, um, you know, all I can do is pray. You know, God's uh, moved in my life, in my family's life. Um, you know, a few of my family members were raging atheists until um, they saw what God did for me. You know, I came to Teen Challenge 120 pounds. You know, living in Pine Street, living, you know, however I was. I went to private school my whole life. You know, my parents did everything they could to make me not be like, like some of some kids in my neighborhood. And, um, you know, wherever you go, you take yourself with you. <coughs> Luckily, I know now wherever I go, I take myself with me, but I also take God with me. Amen. You know, I don't know what he has in store for me, but it, I know it's a purpose, because I'm still alive, I'm still kidding. Right. Right. I, um, you know, for a long time, I thought I was going to die lonely in a public restroom with a needle hanging on my arm. And uh, I know for a fact it's not the way it, it has to be, that's not the way it's going to be. You know, but they were saying, like, as long as I, I stay in his will, um, when I step out of God's will, I'm on a fast track towards health. You know, you know, I feel a strong calling to help other people. You know, I used to uh, cut myself, burn myself. Um, a few times in my life, strangers intervened with me trying to kill myself. You know, you know, I, I just want to help the people who are mentally handicapped, physically handicapped, not so much with drugs or alcohol, but anything like that. Um, so with that, I just want to say thank you for having us, and I'll leave you uh, Psalms 36.9. It says, uh, for with you is a fountain of life, and your light will be see light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.